Hey, if you're into photography or just trying to learn about photography and you like shooting rustic rural landscapes and don't mind riding around in a beat up old pickup truck trying to find a place to pull over and park so you can shoot that old barn that uh, is in beautiful light, then you might have found the channel you might want to hit the old subscribe button on and stick around. So, hope you do and uh, enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Garrick and today I am diving into a secret feature on the Nikon D850 that will definitely help you elevate your photography. If you're ready to capture those ultra tack sharp images, stay tuned, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff too. Well, it might not be a secret, but I sure as heck didn't know about it and I've had the D850 since 2018, 2019, so, and I think it came out in 2017. So I've had this thing for a real long time, and I just found out about this feature today. And that feature is called Pinpoint Autofocus Area Mode. And you can only get to it in the live view, which I never even would have imagined. But, uh, yeah, I was just kind of tinkering around today and stumbled onto it. So, so I figured I would share it with you guys. So what is pinpoint autofocus area mode? Well, basically, it when you turn it on, the D850 is going to focus almost like on the pixel that you're wanting to focus on. It is going to focus more precisely than when you're in normal mode in the uh, autofocus settings. For example, in this image here, you're trying to focus on the stamens of the, the flower, the interior part of the flower. When you're in normal autofocus mode, you're going to get a wider uh, section of the interior of the flower. When you switch it, when you switch it to pinpoint, you're going to get a very dialed in autofocus. All right, so how do you turn this feature on? The first thing I would recommend is putting autofocus in single as opposed to continuous. And to do that, you're gonna press this button here. It's the button on the auto uh, manual focus button. You're gonna press that and you're gonna turn the main command dial, which is on the back. And you'll get two choices. Autofocus C, autofocus S. So put it on autofocus S when you're gonna do this. And then you're gonna turn on live view. And then once you're in live view, you're gonna hit that same button again and you're gonna turn the sub command dial. And what you're gonna see on the screen, on the live view screen, when you're turning, it's gonna cycle through. And you wanna cycle through until you actually see the word pin. So. Put the old glasses on. It says AFF pin. So now you're now you're in it, and uh, so now you're going to use the multi selector, or you can use the touch screen to set your focus. And once you get your focus set, you can actually zoom in by using the zoom in buttons. Zoom in on your topic, make sure you're tack sharp, and then take the picture. So whether you're shooting landscape or portraits, especially in portraits, when you want to tack sharp on the your subject's eyes, architecture, basically all types of photography. Uh, actually macro too, macro would be a really good usage for this, but basically all types of photography, key, the point is to be tack sharp where you want to be tack sharp. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. And you guys all know the drill. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I am Garrick. And I am your very best friend in the whole wide world. So we'll see you next time everybody. Thanks so much. Bye bye.